Hi there, this is Craig back from StopDrinkingExpert.com. Welcome into your latest video here on YouTube. And today uh, I'm going to ask a very blunt question and give you a vl very blunt answer. Uh, but if you've been watching my videos for a while and you've been thinking about doing the complete course, I'm going to share with you a secret how you can actually do it on YouTube. All right. I'm not going to mention this again, but I'm going to mention it today. So stay with me and I'll tell you how you can do it kind of on the sly on YouTube. So here's the blunt question. Do you have a drinking problem? Are you ready for the blunt answer? Yes, you do. How do I know? Well, because look, people who don't have a problem with alcohol pretty much never find me. They never find my YouTube channel. They never find my book. They don't get suggested me as, you know, a friend on social media because I'm just not in their realm. Normal people who drink socially, they don't go searching on Google for like, how much is too much? How do you know when you're an alcoholic? How often do you have to drink to be a problem drinker? They don't, that sort of lexicon doesn't enter their head. And it's the same with you. There are, there are things in your life that you like. You may even love them but you're not so obsessed with them. They're not so unnaturally balanced in your life that you're Googling about them. You know, like, you might like mashed potato. You might love mashed potato. But even still, you're probably not Googling how much is too much mashed potato, are you? I know it's a ridiculous example, but do you see what I mean? Things that aren't a problem, they don't enter your thoughts like that. They don't, you don't linger on them. You don't wake up in the morning thinking about it. And so, you know, if you're asking the question, do I have a drinking problem? There's a better than good chance that the answer is yes, without asking any further questions. And so you may be at the start of this journey where you're starting to get worried about your drinking. And you may be asking questions of Google like, how much alcohol is too much? How do you know if you've got a drinking problem? Those sort of things. And let me just tell you, let me give you the heads up here you're asking the wrong questions. Because whether you have a problem with alcohol is not determined by how much you drink. It's not determined by how often you drink. That's got really nothing to do with it. I believe the answer to the question, do you have a drinking problem, is does it make you miserable? Does alcohol make you miserable? Do you feel guilt, regret, and shame because of your drinking? Does it make you worry? Does it make you feel depressed? Does it make you think less of yourself? If you answer yes to any of those questions, then you have a drinking problem regardless of how much you're drinking. Now, you should never compare your drinking to someone else's when you're on this kind of initial stage of the journey where you're trying to find out if you have a problem. Don't ever compare what you do to someone else. This is a path that's going to lead you nowhere. For a start, a drinking problem has got nothing to do with the amount you drink. You know, I've had people come to boot camp drinking tiny amounts of alcohol, and yet they're still there at a quit drinking boot camp. We had one guy in uh, San Francisco turn up. He traveled a thousand miles to be there. He was 73, 74 years old. And when I went around the room and said, how much do you drink? This guy said, I drink one miniature of vodka a day. And I have done for 40 years. I said, I think you're in the wrong room. <laughs> he said, no, 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 no. He said, I hate it. He said, I, I can't not drink a miniature of vodka every day. And I hate that. He said, I'm in control of my life completely. Everything else is perfectly balanced except this one little thing. And I cannot stop doing it. And it makes me so unhappy. And I said, well, it turns out you're in exactly the right room. That's the definition of a drinking problem. The other reason you shouldn't compare your drinking to other people is because you're probably doing that to give yourself a license to carry on. And you'll suffer from something called confirmation bias. You will always be able to find somebody who's worse off than you. And that will allow the evil clown that lives in your head, that is alcohol addiction, to validate what you're doing. You know, the first time I went to AA, the result was I started drinking more. Why? Well, because I compared my drinking to the other people in the room. I sat there silently listening to the terrible stories being told. 
This guy here was drinking two bottles of vodka a day. This guy said, oh, you know, I'm drinking every day and I go home every night and I beat up my wife. This woman here had been given three months to live. And I sat there feeling like a saint. I was like, wow, <laughs> my drinking's awesome. I've got room to grow. My two bottles of wine a night's nothing. And I actually left AA that night and bought a bottle of whiskey on the way home. Because I thought, man, I'm nowhere near as bad as those guys. I've got a little bit of space to maneuver here. So there's no point comparing what you do to other people. Just answer the question. Are you worried about your drinking? Then you have a problem and you should take action. Now, I would love for everyone who ever watched one of my YouTube videos to do my course because I know it works. I've managed to help over 200,000 people to quit drinking using this very precise method. But that taking that first step is always the hardest. You know, even people who are deeply miserable with their drinking, sometimes they just can't bring themselves to pull the trigger and start the course. And then they'll come up with reasons as to why not. They'll say, well, I can't afford it, even as though the average member saved $7,000 a year. But, you know, how they feel in that moment is how they feel, right? Well, look, let me tell you a secret. This is the only time I'm going to mention it. There is a way to do my course, just the bare bones, without any of the add-ons and the bonuses and the extras. If you just want the hardcore quit drinking course day by day, there's a way to do it on YouTube. Here's how you do it, all right? The easiest way to do it is to just go to this website address, stopdrinkingexpert.com forward slash YouTube. It'll take you directly to my YouTube channel, which is here, all right? And when you get there, you'll see on the top row here, there is a section called Members Only Videos. If you click on that, it will take you through to this section where you see, look, there's the Alcohol Light Me audio book there. There's uh, exclusive uh, members-only video content that's not available on normal YouTube. Um, there's hypnosis tracks on there. there. And look here, the complete course, day one, right down here at the bottom. Day one of the course, all the way through to day 10. And if you just want to do the course, you can do it on YouTube. To do it, all you do, is go back to the main page and you'll see there is a blue join button at the top. Click on the join button and that will let you in to the members area of YouTube, all right? So that's the only time I'm gonna mention it, but it's there if you wanna do it. It's just the core components of the Quit Drinking course that's helped 200,000 people. It's there if you want it, okay? Thanks for watching, enjoy your Thursday and I will see you tomorrow.